Hi, this is Mr. Wassman, and today we're going to be converting customary units of weight. This is for Homelink 6.6. .6. Let's get started. At the top of the paper, you're going to notice two number lines. These number lines are used to help you convert between ounces and pounds and pounds and tons. All you have to remember for these conversions is that there are 16 ounces for every pound and 2,000 pounds for every ton. A quick visual reference, uh, when you're measuring in ounces, we're looking at very small or light things, like say a pencil or a piece of paper. Pounds, we're getting into everyday objects, such as a bowling ball or a textbook or a person. Uh, when we think about weight in terms of tons, we're looking at large objects like vehicles, uh, elephants, uh, boulders, things like that. Now if you look at the table for number one, this is basically just a function machine where we take the number of tons and we multiply it by 2,000. Um, 6 times 2, uh, for example, is going to give us 12. And since 2,000 is basically 2 with 3 zeros behind it, uh, 6 tons is the equivalent of 12,000 pounds, or 12 with 3 zeros behind it. Now, converting pounds to ounces is a little bit more trickier because most of us can't skip count by 16s off the top of our heads. Uh, so we're going to start with number five, uh, with 5 pounds. If you take a look up at the top, 5 pounds is the equivalent of 80 ounces. That's great if you have that number line available for you, but if you don't have that number line available, or say for example, if we're looking at a, a conversion, say 15 pounds, and the number line does not exceed 10, it gets a little trickier. Uh, so what do we do? Well, I know that 15 is basically one group of 10 and one group of 5. So I can take the amount of ounces in 10 pounds and add it to the amount of ounces in 5 pounds. Well, 16 plus 8 is going to give me 24, so 16 tens plus 8 tens is going to give me 24 tens, otherwise known as 240. Now once you complete both tables, you'll be able to answer the story problems for number 3 and 4. And then down at the bottom, we are just going to be adding or subtracting fractions. Now, when we're looking at fractions, we have to make sure that the denominators or the bottom numbers are always the same. So in a problem like 4 eighths plus 3 eighths, that's pretty simple. You're just going to add the top numbers. But when we get into, say, fractions with unlike denominators, 5 tenths plus 3 hundredths, one of those fractions has to be converted to the other denominator. I like to think of these problems in terms of pennies and dimes. So if I have five dimes, how many pennies is that equivalent to? If you have any questions, have your parents, please email me. Otherwise, uh, we will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.